So today is the day, it's currently 6.20 in the morning and we are going to the Kipchoge Stadium today. It's about 40 minute drive from where we're staying um, in Iten. It's in a place called Eldoret, which is yeah 40 minutes uh, in the car. So yeah, really looking forward to going down there this morning. And um, we're gonna be training at the stadium where Kipchoge trains. Some of the best runners in the world train at around 2,100 meters above sea level. I'm gonna be wearing the Adios Pro 3s. Nice red colorway, match the Kenya kit. And um, there was only one kit that I was gonna wear for um, the Kipchoge Stadium. It had to be the full Kenya kit. <laughs> bit cringe but had to be done and we have 10 by one kilometer as the workout to do so yeah can't wait look forward to sharing this one with you but let's get going just arrived at the Kipchoge Stadium and believe it or not this is it um, it's currently under construction and they're renovating the stadium at the moment but apparently they've had some some issues with funding um, and the construction is taking a lot, lot longer than expected so yeah it looks like a bit of a building site at the moment because yeah it is to be honest with you but we're just about to head to the track now and uh, see the the Kipchoge Stadium I'll tell you a little bit more about about the stadium here but basically all of the best runners in the area come to this track train the likes of Elliot Kipchoge are trained here the NN running team and um, there's already lots and lots of athletes um, in elite uh, gear just turning up to do their track workouts this morning so yeah really excited to, to go and see the track for the first time okay so here we go here's the Kipchoge Stadium wow it really is a building site looks very very busy lots of athletes on the track already it's currently 20 past 7 in the morning and there's already a good few groups out on the track getting it done. Wow, it's pretty incredible. This is going to be one hell of a session. Morning. Yeah, yeah. Morning, bro. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. You excited? Yeah, really. Ready for the, the stadium. Ready for the stadium? Yes, yes. And ready for the workout. We can do warm up, but all the time we have to do warm up on lane eight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you are on lane eight when you are doing while you are doing warm up, and, uh, and face this direction and face opposite That's and opposite okay. direction. Yeah. Yeah. Opposite direction. So I'm now standing in the middle of the Kipchoge Kano Stadium. This stadium is actually not named after Eliud Kipchoge, believe it or not, even though some people uh, think it is. It's actually named after one of the first um, Olympic gold medalists from Kenya, who's called Kipchoge Kano. He ran uh, in the 1968 uh, Olympic Games in Mexico and he won the gold in 1500 meters and he ran um, the steeplechase in 1972 Munich uh, Olympic Games and he won gold there as well. He's also won three um, gold Commonwealth medals in his in his career and this stadium today is built after is built and named after him. Um, I believe he's around 83 years old and he's only just recently retired as part of the Kenyan athletic, athletics community. So yeah, he's a figure in, in the Kenyan running uh, history and culture that have inspired a lot of athletes. And uh, yeah, this track is just one of the um, sort of legacies that he's left behind. He's, he's still alive today. I think he's yeah 83 years old. Um, but yeah, just wanted to clarify, this isn't named after Eliud Kipchoge, even though Kipchoge does train here himself. Um, it's named after Kipchoge Kano, um, who won gold in 1968 and was one of the first Kenyans um, to sort of break through in the middle to long distance running scene. And as you can see, the stadium itself is being uh, renovated. It used to be a grass track, but it's recently had uh, a, proper, a proper track put down. Hopefully it will get finished at some point, but I think there's quite a lot of politics um, at the moment of, to get this finished. The, the state government was meant to be offering funding, but uh, the county government have had to pay for all of it pretty much so far. And the construction has taken a lot longer than, than they wanted. We're in lane eight and we're going backwards. 
um, but there is so many people down here. I've never seen so many athletes on the track. How are you finding it, guys? Yeah, it's uh, a little bit strange. Yeah. I've never seen a lot of people, but yeah, it's going to be fun. It's yeah. really inspiring how fast they go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to look like snails compared to them. <laughs> For sure. So as I'm warming up around the track, already spotting some some names and some faces that I recognize. Uh, there's an ASICS athlete called Boniface Kibiwat. He's uh, training here. We have a German uh, marathon runner, again, for ASICS, just warming up here. Um, there's the Swiss uh, national record holder, Degesse. He's working out here, so uh, yeah, and they're the only ones I recognize. We have an Italian hocker female athlete just there, so yeah. The track is full of, of record holders today. You want to take the first one? Go. Three twenty one, rep number two. Hey, you made our pace are tired. I made him work. <laughs> so we just finished the workout, 10 by K. We started at around 3.20 per kilometer, and that last one was 3.02. Um, it was really nice to have a pacer on the track. Um, he helped me around. I just told him what sort of splits I wanted to, to run. And we started at around 80 seconds a lap, which is 3.20. And then by the end, we were sort of running 73, 74 seconds a lap. Um, so yeah, really good workout. I'll go over a full analysis when we get back to back home. Um, I'll go over uh, the splits on Strava. But yeah, a really good workout. I reckon this track gives you a good 10 seconds per kilometer in motivation. And um, the level of athlete uh, here today is just incredible. When you're running around, just seeing like, world record holders, national record holders, just come flying past you. Um, it's a pretty special feeling. So yeah, that's a workout I definitely won't forget in a long time. And uh, yeah, good 10 by K banked for Boston Marathon as well. So we're back straight to breakfast. It's now 10 o'clock. So yeah, good to get a solid track session in. We left here at 6.30 and we're back at 10 o'clock. So yeah, let's see what's on offer for food today. For breakfast today, we've got porridge, some eggs, bandazi, and some bananas. So that's breakfast done. Nice to, to refuel after that run. Um, I'm not used to doing track sessions um, without eating before, but to be honest with you, I felt pretty good today. Good workout. I'll go over it in just a second, but um, yeah, great session down there at the Kipchoge Stadium today. So today I've just been chilling out by the pool, um, relaxing, enjoying it after this morning's 10 by a K session. Um, I thought I would just do a bit of a deep dive into, into the workout. Um, it was a pretty good one, 10 by a kilometre um, with 200 metres jog recoveries. But before I go into this workout, it was an incredible experience just to be down at the track with some incredible runners. On my cool down, I was doing a bit of like uh, selfie hunting, just taking a few photos with people. Paul Chalimo and Kelvin Kipton were also down at the track, but they were still running, so I didn't want to bother them. But yeah, just to be in on the same track as, as some runners of that calibre was pretty incredible. Uh, but let's jump in to today's session. So the workout was set by the coach here on the running uh, trip. And I thought it was a pretty good workout actually for me ahead of uh, Boston Marathon. It's probably my first 
big session back since uh, the Osaka marathon, which was about 15 days ago. Um, but the workout was 10 by a kilometer. So the idea of the session for me was to do with the first five reps fairly controlled. And then if I had if I had any extra gears at the end, I could sort of progress them um, towards the end. And that's exactly what happened. I felt really, really good today. Um, legs felt great, breathing was good. It almost felt like I was down at sea level. And I think just being surrounded by such incredible athletes really helped inspire me down there at the track. So here's the workout. Let's have a little look at the splits. So the first rep, 320 per kilometer. The second rep, 321 third 322 then 319 then 319 so the first five all around 320 per kilometer which i had a look on online equates to around 314 at sea level i'll leave a link down below actually to the um, altitude sort of converter if you ever happen to be doing some some workouts at altitude and you want to work out what the the sea level equivalent is and then for the last five i started to wind it up a little bit so for rep number six i ran 314 for rep seven, 310, then 309, then 306, and I ended with a 302. So yeah, um, all in all, an incredible workout, great experience, um, and I can't wait to, to do another workout there. Probably not this time round, in terms of being in Kenya, but next time I come uh, to attend, I'll definitely use the Kipchoge track just purely for uh, inspiration with the number of athletes um, down there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that one from the Kipchoge track. Certainly not a workout that I'm going to forget in a long, long time. And yeah, an incredible experience. If you want to find out a little bit more about the camp that I'm on with the running trips, then there is a link in the description. But until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire, and we'll see you again soon.